I'm Kathleen Tsang. I'm the creative director and owner of Sunny Kilogram, a web design and development company here in New York City. If you have an audio playlist on your Tumblr and you don't know how to remove it, well, you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you how to do that right now. In order to show you how to hide a playlist, I'm actually first going to add a Hypester playlist. So I'm going to go to my Hypester account and log in. I think I already did that and go to create. I'm going to click on create player and for our purposes let's create a bar player, give it a name, I'm going to choose top just because and make sure show playlist by default is checked. Okay, let's get the code, let's copy all of that and now let's go to Tumblr. Log into your Tumblr and click on the gear icon for settings. Make sure you choose the right blog. And then uh, next to theme, click on customize. Now on this next page on the left hand side, click on edit HTML. And great, we're in. HTML is what controls what shows up on your page. So um, I know it looks a little bit scary, but we're really not doing that much. Let's go ahead and hit Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac like me. And let's search for the body tag. So just type body like I have here and click on OK. Great, it's right here. So right underneath this body tag, we're going to paste in what we copied from Hypester before. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Paste or Control V and Update. Let's save that. Now let's go to my blog. And here we go. So you should see the, play the player here and the playlist on the right. So now I'm going to show you how to hide this playlist. So let's go back to our code. And um, right here, this is what we copied and pasted from Hypester. And notice this last item here. It says show playlist true. So all we're going to do now is to change the word true to false. Okay, update preview, save that. And let's go back to my blog, refresh. And the playlist has indeed disappeared. Okay, I hope I didn't lose anyone. I know that involved a little bit of coding, but it shouldn't have been that bad. If you have any other questions, please visit my website, www.sunnykilogram.com. Thanks.